All right, what we have for you today is a Orange Crush BXT uh, solid state bass amplifier uh, by Orange. And the problem with this amp is it has absolutely zero output. Okay, here's a picture of the board of the uh, Crush 50 BXT 2009. And it had uh, zero output. Um, put the signal generator in it and started uh, tracing through it to find where the signal ended and um, had good signal going through the ICs. Um, I thought that this one might be bad, so I took an old one out of a, uh, an old stereo that I knew was working and replaced it and it didn't do nothing for it. And uh, could trace the signal over here to the power amplifier. This is a LM3886 power amplifier. And I mean, I, I was getting uh, signal into this, but just could not get any output at all to the speakers. Okay, this is the pinout on a LM3886 power amplifier. These are like a, a 20 to, uh, I think it's 63 watt uh, power amplifier. And you need to notice this right here. Pin 8 is for a mute switch. Here's the schematic uh, for the LM3886 amplifier. And on pin eight, that's the mute switch. You'll notice that there's a resistor in here. And I found on a forum that, because um, there's, there's not a mute switch on this amplifier. So in order for the mute switch to be off, there has to be resistance to ground in order for the mute switch to be off. If there's no resistance to ground or, or current, a certain amount of current draw, then the mute switch will be on. Okay, so here's that chip in pin eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight is the mute. So I just you, you can tell by looking at it, it goes through here because you can't get a schematic from Orange on any of their stuff unless you're a certified technician, which I am not. Um, but was able to see that R41 is the resistor that is uh, part of the, the mute. Okay, so I checked that R41 resistor that was in the uh, mute and it appeared to be bad, so this was what happened when I uh, jumpered it with a good resistor. That's the volume, got no output, none. Fixed it. Well, this one was really a uh, pretty simple fix once found out what the problem was. Uh, it's nice to fix one for about a dime, you know. So I hope that you have enjoyed the video and there will be more to come. Thanks.